Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is the very first video of 2015. Very excited about that. Um, a couple New Year's resolutions that I wanted to talk to you guys about. First one being, every time I post a picture on Instagram, I say, I did the cat eye, I did the red lips, I contoured my face this way, that, this and that. But I never explain to you guys which products I used for what. I always just post a picture and tag different uh, beauty products that I used, but I don't explain to you guys what I used them for. So this year, I definitely want to start telling you guys. Um, I used the, El the Tarte Foundation, I used the e.l.f. Highlighter, the Lime Crime Liquid Liner, you know, things like that. Because I tell you guys what products I used, but I don't tell, I don't explain to you guys how to use them. So I definitely need to start doing that because that's even that's the whole point of me doing the vegan vanity fair Instagram. Second of all, I need to start posting more YouTube videos. I've neglected you guys quite a bit for the past month. I've po I posted like two videos only. Um, even though in the beginning I told you guys I wanted to post two to three videos a week. Yeah, that didn't happen. So those are two things I want to fix this year. And yeah. So getting started with this video. This video is not about, it's not a makeup tutorial. It's not a makeup review. It's more of a homemade do-it-yourself kind of thing. The first thing, I'm going to be talking about two, four products total. The first product I want to talk to you guys about is coconut oil. I use the Now Solutions Coconut Oil, 100% natural. What I use this oil for is uh, my hair to give it some shine or to hydrate it. To, I use it um, right after I wash my face. But the main thing I wanted to explain to you guys was oil pulling. I think you guys have probably heard about this because there's a big thing going on with oil pulling right now. Basically, when you put coconut oil on your mouth, some people swish it around. As you guys know, when oil, when coconut oil becomes warm, it come it becomes like olive oil, like liquid. But when it's cold, it's it's solid. So you swish it around a couple minutes, and then you have to spit it out. Do not swallow the coconut oil because once it, what it does is. It extracts all the bacteria from your mouth, your throat, your gums, everything. It leaves your mouth completely free of bacteria, any infection that you might have, gingivitis, anything like that. It is great for that. Um, so what you do is when, once you're swishing it around, leave it for about three minutes. It's a, it's a difficult thing to do because... No, it's not the flavor. It's it's the texture that it has, like swishing oil around your mouth. I, I personally cannot do it. I tried it a couple times. I stopped. I will tell you guys in a minute how I do it now. But what I wanted to say is when you're swishing it, after a couple minutes, spit it out. But do not spit it out on your sink or down the toilet. Spit it on, the, on your trash can because if it gets cold going down the pipe, going down the pipes it's gonna it's gonna clog your pipes so I learned the ha the hard way unfortunately I was like oh nothing's gonna happen whatever I had clogged sinks for a while um so I learned to sp spit it on the trash can and the reason uh I don't swish it around like I just said is because I I, I can't the, the texture is just weird to me I can't deal with it so what I do instead is I get my toothbrush this is right before you brush your teeth right before you eat and eat anything because it's going to completely detox your your mouth so I get my toothbrush I dab a little bit on the on my toothbrush and I brush my teeth I brush them like I would regularly do and then after two minutes or so I spit it out and obviously any leftover coconut oil that you have in your in your mouth you can go ahead and spit it out down the sink just make sure you don't spit out the whole thing because like I said it will clog the sink and it's not nice so what I do is I brush my teeth with a coconut oil and then right after I rinse any leftover coconut oil that I have and I just brush them how I regularly do 
it works. I have to say it does work. I used to have, and I know, I know, TMI, but I used to have a cavity in one of my very back molars. I don't want to sound crazy, but my tooth basically, like, started rebuilding itself because just coconut oil is so amazing for so many things. I can't, like, don't even get me started, but it basically rebuilt my tooth um, enamel. So I was like, whoa, my mouth feels just healthier and my teeth have actually gotten whiter and my cavity is like just about gone because it is a complete, complete detox for your mouth. It's great for oral health, oral health honestly. So that's the, that's what I use the coconut oil for, this one. Now, second product that I wanted to talk to you guys about also has to do with the uh, oral cleansing and stuff. Basically, honestly, all of these things have to do with oral health. Um, it's hydrogen peroxide. I know, I know. Um, what I do is I brush my teeth and then, you know, as mouthwash, I get a lit, I get my like mouthwash cup, um, but I put like about four milliliters of um, of hyd hydrogen peroxide, and then I wrist, I wrist, I fill the rest up with water about halfway, and then I just swish it around for a couple seconds. I don't do like the whole minute. I do about like 20 to 30 seconds, and you're going to feel like never-ending bubbles inside your mouth. Hydrogen peroxide is oral debriding agent and oral wood, wood, wound cleanser. So since it's an antiseptic, all those bubbles that you feel inside your mouth, are ba it's basically killing any leftover bacteria that you might have after brushing your teeth. Because when you brush your teeth, there's like little things in there that you might not get, or like the top of your, your mouth or your tongue, whatever. So the hydrogen peroxide takes care of everything so don't use this every day because it can be a little harsh on your on your teeth on your enamel um i use it only about once a week maybe twice depending sometimes you can just tell you're like i need to give my mouth a detox like you can your body just tells you you know so i use this about once a week um with so I brush my teeth and then I use that as my as my mouthwash basically. Another thing that I do also about once once or twice a week is put some baking soda. <laughs> I get my toothpaste and then I put I sprinkle just a little bit of baking soda and this basically goes how can I explain? Like it goes deep into your it's going to sound weird, but you get the feeling of it going deep into your pores because it, that's basically what it does, but, like, in your teeth, if that even makes any sense. You know how, like, the Colgate commercials, it has, like, the bubbles, like, going inside the teeth? Okay, that's what I'm trying to say. That's basically what this does for your teeth. It also does, like, this cleansing for your teeth, and it makes them whiter. Um, I don't know if you guys have ever used, like, oh, I need to clean the bathtub or something. Oh, use baking soda because it whitens up everything. Same thing with your teeth. It will whiten up your teeth, but it is very strong. So sprinkle only a little bit of baking soda on your toothbrush and use it about once or twice a week. Um, if you do feel that you have very sensitive teeth and you're like, oh, this is, like, making my teeth hurt or something, stop. Completely stop and wait a couple weeks one or two weeks and then try to do it again because some people have very sensitive uh, teeth some people have you know not so sensitive teeth um after when I first started doing this I was like oh I'm gonna do this every day and it's gonna make my teeth so white and blah 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 and I started using it every single day and my teeth started to actually hurt because it's so strong it started damaging my teeth a little bit it started doing the opposite effect of what I thought it was going to do. I was like, oh, it's going to help my teeth. It's going to make me, my teeth strong and white. Well, it actually started hurting them a little bit. So that's when I switched to using it only about once a week, I would say. Some people say they use it once a month. Whatever works for you, honestly. 
Um, so that's the baking soda. Like I said, I put some put some toothpaste on my toothbrush, get sprinkle some baking soda on top. I just brush them, and that's it. And then I do the mouthwash with the hydrogen peroxide. <sighs> Next product, I I swear by this product. Honestly, I swear by it. The tea tree oil, and I posted when I posted the whole um, coconut oil thing. I posted it like it was like two in one. Like, the picture was the tea tree oil and the coconut oil. It was a couple weeks ago. Like I said, I use the coconut oil as a moisturizer right after I wash my face. Or, like, now that the winter is, like, being so harsh on my skin, I use it for my hands, my elbows, like, everything. Also, whenever I moisturize my face with the coconut oil, I only do this at night, though. I put about two drops of tea tree oil mixed in with with the coconut oil I make it like get a little warm because if it's warm it'll seep into your pores faster you because if it's cold your your pores are going to, to close and it's not going to have the same effect so you warm it up a little bit and then you just dab it on your face and first of all it smells amazing second of all it gets rid of any redness that you might have on your face and it's also like a like a cleanser, like all these things, like, cleanse your body, your mouth, your face, everything. Um, so I just put a couple uh, drops of this with the coconut oil, then I dab it on my face. If Depending on how much redness I have, I usually get redness around my chin area. Sometimes, sometimes on my forehead, but m my problem area has to be my chin, like it has to be my chin. Um, so what I do is, if I see that I have extra redness, I put like just one small drop like on my finger and I dab a little extra tea tree oil on that area. And yeah, um, so that's what I use it for. I also use, uh, use the tea tree oil to put some on, on my toothpaste every once in a while whenever I'm not using the, the baking soda. If I want my mouth to like be like extra fresh or like whatever, um, extra clean, feel extra clean, get the toothpaste obviously and then just pour one, trust me, one drop is enough, um, pour it on top of the toothpaste, toothpaste and then just brush my teeth, it's like the best feeling ever, it's like just so refreshing and amazing and I, I love it, it's, um, the aroma it says is potent, very potent. It's warm and spicy. I don't know about the warm and spicy because for me it's just a refreshing feeling. Um, and then it says the benefits. Cleansing, purifying, and renewing. Definitely. Um, this, do not ever take this um, orally. Like if you were to put, some people say they use it as mouthwash sometimes. Like they put the little cup of um, like with water and then like two drops of tea tree oil. Make sure you do not accidentally drink it. I've, I don't know exactly why, but people, the reviews that I've read are people just saying, do not drink, the, do not drink it, like, not even by accident, do not drink it, like, it does not work internally, it's something you do on, externally, basically, like, on your skin, or as a part of your toothpaste, or, you know, it also heals, like, really cracked skin and stuff, um, but yeah, do not swallow it, I don't know why, I don't want to find out why, um, but yeah. So, I think that's it. I will post a picture on Instagram and have more details about all of this. If you guys have any questions, if you guys have any recommendations, or if you guys do the same things, like, please let me know. Like, I want to know what you guys do to have um, bright skin and white teeth and all that good stuff and clean, um, nice oral health. So if you guys have any product recommendations or any questions, concerns, anything, uh, please let me know. Uh, leave a comment down below. I will also, of course, link uh, the Vegan Vanity Fair Instagram. Um, and feel free to, to like the pictures in there, see what I'm up to. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any other questions, please let me know. And yeah, you guys take care. I hope... 2015 is a great year for y'all and thank you so much for watching.